the Watergate Building in Washington, this is Hotline TV. Now hear Hotline editors Amy Walter and John Mercurio. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Hotline TV. I'm Amy Walter. And I'm John Mercurio. Stephen Colbert is not the only person that's been drawing attention in the Palmetto State with campaigns heating up. Major developments are going down in South Carolina. After Romney's campaign trumpeted Pastor Don Wilton's endorsement last week, Wilton took it back. Is this going to have repercussions with voters on a broader scale? Broader level. This was a very interesting and not very good day here for Mitt Romney. Bad Remember the bad for week Mitt for Mitt Romney, although it looked like he might have stopped the bleeding after a bad voters, values voters conference where he didn't exactly do particularly well among evangelicals. We could point well, to the fact that well he, at, at the yeah, value yeah but he should have done better if he's trying to be the consensus conservative here. Now he goes, but he can say, hey, but look at me in South Carolina picking up all these evangelical support, Bob Jones University, et cetera, and I got a new poll that shows I'm making movement, I'm investing in this state. Now you get one of his biggest supporters to say, well, I didn't realize this was going to be used I didn't nationally. know anybody outside of the state was actually going to know about, about it. it. Which yeah. is a really curious way to withdraw an endorsement. You know, right. it's one thing to, uh, to, to sort of say that you differ or there's been a policy change. It's another thing to sort of question and criticize the campaign's tactics or the strategy by oh, which right. uh, they highlight the endorsement. And, and you know, you've got to ask Wilton, or I'm sure the, the Romney campaign is asking him, what do you think it was going to be used for? <laughs> you know, I mean, I was running for, I'm, I'm running, I'm running for for president, president not running for, for the you know for Senate from South Carolina. Um, so a really sort of curious uh, move on his part. All right. All right. Trying to keep then the schedule We're going to keep it moving. All right. Now we have Fred Thompson who needs a South Carolina win more than anybody. If he doesn't take Iowa or New Hampshire, can he wait till s South Carolina? I mean, he's not just not trying to win New Hampshire. I mean, he's basically thumbing his nose <laughs> yes, at New Hampshire. He he's not even going to deign to visit the state in order to file his candidacy. Apparently, according to the Hill newspaper, he's sending a surrogate up to New Hampshire uh, to, can't, to, 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 to file his, his, uh, his, uh, his papers. Can he wait till South Carolina? I mean, that's clearly what he's planning to yeah, do. He's certainly not investing in Iowa. Nope. None of them are investing in Iowa. Des Moines Register, great piece today. Very interesting must read uh, by Tom Beaumont showing how, how little, if any, uh, thing the Republicans are, are investing in Iowa. Um, I, I, it's not even a question of can he wait until South Carolina. The, the, I think the, the answer is, regardless of whether he can, that is clearly what he has, what he is planning to do. Right. And, and look, I understand the New Hampshire piece. All right. Look, he, in the very first poll that came out of the state that put him in there, his negatives were already at 30. And mm -hmm. he hadn't even done anything yet. So clearly, the, whether it's the southern accent or whether they think he's a conservative um, because he's from the south or they don't trust that, I don't know. But the fact is, why not at least make a play for Iowa, where theoretically those conservative credentials can get tested out? Then, if you get, you don't have to say, "Well, gosh, it's South Carolina." The whole thing will have moved on by then. It could, sure. Well, there are other on. states. I mean, if you can make it to, to February fifth, there are some other states. And he's going to have the money yeah. along with Giuliani and Romney uh, to actually do something on February fifth. So maybe so this I think he's planning to sort of ride it out through then. So if it all comes down to Iowa for the Dems, does it all come down to South Carolina for the Republicans? I think that's very. That's a that is an excellent point. That I didn't, wasn't the first person to say that. But anyway. That's that all the time that we have. For Hotline TV. We'll see you tomorrow.